Immigration, it is still up in the air. For the second time, a bipartisan group led by both of our U.S. senators was able to put together a proposal. And for the second time, President Trump said no. This bill would have created a pathway to citizenship for nearly 2 million undocumented immigrants and $25 billion for border security. And now it's back to the drawing board. And the deadline for Congress to get a bill passed is next month. So joining us to talk about politics both on the state and on the national level is Blair Miller of the DenverChannel.com. So let's start with that immigration proposal. That was Senators Bennett and Gardner getting together on this. What happened? It didn't get far. Well, so th what happened is it seemed like, you know, they obviously had their plan that they'd been working on for months that got rejected in January, but the day before the votes, they came out with their own plan together. Now that quickly dissolved, um, but what I was told from both both senators' aides is that that framework is what ended up in the big bipartisan bill that Gardner mm -hmm. attached his name to, which Bennett also voted for. But um, so yeah, that big bipartisan deal was sort of the efforts of what Gardner and Bennett have been working on for months now. Uh, do you think that we'll see them? I mean, once a Democrat, once a Republican, do you see that we will see them working on other issues together down the road? And what, what is that a sign of? Yeah, I mean, um, they both said, I think this immigration deal has set, kind of been the impetus for them to, you know, come out together and say, hey, we are doing this stuff together. I mean, there's been plenty of stuff they've worked on together over the past couple of years, but I think this was one holding point where they both agreed on and they both agreed they need to make concessions. And I think, I think we are gonna see some of this working forward more as, you know, I think there's the Senate and the Congress in general just kind of wants to kind of get together a lot of these people do and stop this just gridlock of everything. Well, there's so much pressure from people as well. Um, we saw a new immigrant driver's license effort at the state capitol, mm -hmm. and you say this year's version may have a better chance? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, last year's version kind of, it made its way, it didn't die immediately, and it got a lot of discussion, and so I think that this year's version, which is essentially the same as last year's, um, would basically extend protections for undocumented immigrants to get licenses and renew them in the same way that legal citizens do, with a little bit extra fee, but we have Jerry Sonnenberg supporting it in committee this year, and I think since he's such a high-ranking Republican that that does make it bode a little better than it did last year. And very quickly, Civil Rights Commission funding, where does that stand? Uh, I think I think personally that's going to get funded. I think that this is all sort of a political brouhaha that, you know, they both wanted to take advantage of and there are legitimate points on both sides but I think that we're gonna see that all kind of come to an end before the deadline because I think it's in June so they have some time to figure it out and I don't think any of them want to be responsible for that going mm. away entirely. Well we will keep watching I, and we always count on you Blair Miller from the DenverChannel.com mm -hmm. for keeping an eye for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.